Last year was a big year for me. Twenty twenty was my year to push on to bigger and better things. Then the world changed. At the start of lockdown, we gave a lot of time to just slow the pace down a lot a bit. It's probably benefited me a lot more than what it has with our fighters because it's given me a little more time to gel and uh, improve on a lot of things. We knew that we'll get with it eventually. We just got to keep in the gym and, uh, and stay ready. It'll be strange without my supporters, but I know they'll be there in spirit. The aim: keep working towards that world title. The dream: to one day bring that hope to Newcastle. The next chapter is Miguel Vasquez on October the 17th. Nothing worth having comes easy. The man from Newcastle is a revelation. probably benefited me a lot more than what it has over other fighters because it's given me a little more time to, to gel and uh, improve on a lot of things and, and, and uh, grow, grow the weight. When the lockdown first come down and you know you can't leave the house, luckily where lucky where Neil's got the gym on his own land so it can come down. It's not like the gym's been closed, but everywhere else the face masks, you know, like everywhere was shut. So we knew we had one up on, on most fighters anyway because like I say the gym's on his land we can come in where most of our gyms were shut. So like I say, we were just praying that we got a phone call really because we were, we were nice and ready. But apart from that, not much has changed in life. I train, run in the morning, go back to me flat, come to our train, go back to me flat. So it's just been the same old life for me. So You know, we're full blast in training, you know, like we train hard, but like at the start of lockdown, we give a lot of time to just slow the pace down a lot a bit and do a lot more technique than what we usually would. And like I say, it's benefited me quite a lot and I feel like I've I've improved a couple of levels compared to what you've seen is when I boxed Robbie Davis. Luckily, the, the twice that I got uh, cancelled the first time, it was just before we started making weight. So it wasn't like we got to the bad part where we were killing ourselves to, to get to where we need to be. So, you know, a couple of days off and then and then uh, straight straight back in the gym. And, and just, we knew that we will get with it eventually. We just got to keep in the gym and, uh, and stay ready. Even we said of this one, I got cancelled, we were going to stay in the gym till the end of the year and hopefully something would come up then. So, you know, we've, we've just, Sacrificed a few things and we're going to stay in the gym and, uh, and train hard. And, like I say, just making sure I'm ready in case we get that phone call, like a last minute phone call, you know, whenever I thought we might have got in the garden, somebody might have dropped out, jumped in on there. So we've just been ready and uh, we're fit now and we're just ready to, ready to fight. When the show first got, we got 1,500 tickets gone straight away. And uh, my dad was just about to ring match room for 500 more. Got the phone call at the show, I've been cancelled. So, and I've had literally nobody ask for tickets back. So they still don't know whether they can come, they can't. Obviously, it's just been confirmed that not be able to come. So, yeah, it's going to be hard, you know, if, like, say, the atmosphere you've been there before, very loud, you, you crave off it, you bounce off it. But, you know, we've got a job to do, and it's, there's no crowd, so be it. Got to get in there, get, make sure we get a win. <laughs> well, you've just got to sort of be realistic and say they're not in there fighting with the other, you know, it's just you yourself. So, you've got to try and block it out, and, and like you say, when, when you're in there and Neil's trying to shout instructions, they can't hear nothing because the crowd's that loud that you, you know, it gets blocked out. But it, that shows you what level you're at. You know, you need to, you need to block them things out to, to progress in the levels. And and, uh, and that's what I've, that's what I've done. Especially with Robbie fight, it was even louder than the, than the first two have been. So uh, it's hard to do, but that's what one thing we've got to make sure on the night that that we'll, that we do and uh, don't go to the crowd. And, they, they want you to go in there and get stuck straight in. We want to make sure that we don't do that the higher levels we get. Oh, he's, he's called Vaseline in this gym because of Vasquez. We kind of, uh, so, yeah, but I don't. that's Neil's job. I listen to Neil, I trust Neil. If he tells me what to do and, like, that's, and he, he watches him, I don't watch any fighter. So, as long as we bring our A game, like Neil says, bring our A game and we'll be hard to beat. I think he's just a little bit on the slide now and we're on my way up, so it's like you're, you're meeting bang in the middle. I think obviously beating Robbie will prove that we're at European level. Now it's time to prove that we're going to go into that interim world level stage where we'll have a good performance against Vasquez or get a win and then the big fights, the big fights are going to come.
So we're kind of, we're not, we're like I said, we never take anyone lightly, we're not taking them lightly. I think that he is on the slide where going to train for the best, the best fast guys that we think is going to, going to turn up. And uh, like I say, we bring with A game, we're like, we have more than enough to beat him. You know, I think he can do a bit of, bit of anything and we've had all sorts of spawn, southpaw spawn, normal spawn, box as fight as. We've, we've covered everything really and we've got the best of spawn we can do with what the Covid's been like. So we'll be ready for any, any Vasquez that comes. Yes! Then I think we've probably done about 100 rounds in spawn. You know, like we've, you know, the pads every every session. You know, Neil five pads, got the body bag on. He's got he's, he's coming at years, so we're timing. we timing shouldn't be too far out. And by the time these last two spawns come, the timing will be bang on. You know, Josh, uh, two good spawns with him. So spawn, spawn. You can't take really too much from it. But we were happy with the way it went, and uh, we're just shown if we can do what we're doing them spawns and fights, and then we know what level we're at. Yeah, well, I mean, we were getting a bit carried after the Robbie Davis fight. Even myself was probably getting a bit carried away. We thinking St James's Park was around the corner with Josh and fighting for his world titles, but obviously had a bit of crap with him down there. And he's he's moving up. He's going to try and unify their move up. So hopefully we're still ranked quite high with the WBA. That gives us a, a shot, a shot of fighting for the, for the vacant belt with that, and it's one that we'll take with two hands. Hopefully there's be some movement with the, with the belt, so we'll know what's going to happen, and then another hard fight, and, and hopefully. A world title fight. That's what, that's what we want now. And uh, with the with this lockdown, with the air, just working on things. I think I think we're ready for that now. Yeah, he is. And I see he's messaging me about that when when progress had first come callers out saying, "Do you fancy it?" And of course we fancy it. You know, maybe when he boxed Josh and I boxed Davis, maybe we probably weren't ready for that. But now with the air that we've had, working on things, and you know, you just got to ask Neil about how much improvement we we'll take that fight. But if we beat Vasquez and Hopefully Eddie mentions it and we'll, we'll have him by the end of the year. You never know, but we, we'll, we'll take that final problem at all. It's another good good performance from me and maybe a few things that we've been practising in the gym and, and uh, a dominant performance.